Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a full face of products from my everyday makeup drawer. I am always showing you guys what I put in and take out of my everyday makeup drawer, so I thought it would be fun to sit down and film a full face of everyday makeup drawer products that I have been loving recently. I am so excited to let you guys know that a portion of today's video is sponsored by Ofra. We will talk more about that in a moment, but if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and and get started. All right guys, so to start things off, we are going to go in with a couple of Huda Beauty products. This is their Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I will have every single product that I'm talking about today linked in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking any of them out. But this is a really nice hydrating lightweight gel primer. If you have more oily skin and you like a more hydrating primer, I think this is perfect for you. It's very cooling. It kind of reminds me of a gel based moisturizer, which is my preferred moisturizer because I do have more oily skin and I just think that this creates a perfect base for makeup. As you can tell, <laughs> I've used up like half of it. I have been loving this. It's been sitting on top of my desk. I cannot put it away. <laughs> the next Huda Beauty product that I'm going in with is their Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. I have this in the shade Chai and the shade really works for me right now. So um, that was the reason that I started using this again. I used to use this all the time and I love loved it, but then I kind of forgot about it as I was trying new foundations. It just kind of got pushed to the side, but it's so freaking good. I love the color. I love the finish and it offers really good coverage. It is buildable and yeah, I just really love it so much and I think that it pairs perfectly with the Huda Beauty primer. Since this is a stick foundation, it's obviously not as flowy. <laughs> <laughs> liquidy as a regular foundation so um, I find to help with the blending process I like to apply it and just let it sit there for like 30 seconds just to kind of let my like natural heat kind of melt the product a little bit um, and then I find that it's so much easier to blend out I just feel like it softens up the product really well and just makes it a little bit easier to blend. Once I have that blended out, I like to go in with concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a product that took me a long time to get on board with. Um, I bought it when the hype was like at its peak and I honestly was disappointed in the product. Initially, I was like, this like doesn't even like look that good. It's thick on my under eyes and um, yeah, I just wasn't a fan, so I pretty much immediately stopped using it, but I recently picked it back up again because it was in my everyday makeup drawer, and I realized that I actually like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I also actually have the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in my everyday makeup drawer. These are like the two most popular concealers that I see on YouTube. Um, this one, I still don't like. <laughs> I was disappointed with both of these upon like first impression. This one I still don't like no matter how much I use it, but the Tarte Shape Tape is actually pretty good. And I know they have like an extra creamy version and now I really wanna try that one as well. By the way, I have this in the shade Light Neutral. I have this TikTok song stuck in my head and I don't even know what the words are, but it's like a song that repeats over and over again and it gets higher and higher and higher as someone's telling a story and it's like I could be brown I could be blue <laughs> I can't sing I'm sorry oh my goodness I just kicked my freaking light um I I don't know the words but it's like I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. <laughs> and then it gets higher and higher and higher. Um, but I don't even know what all the words are, so it's really frustrating that that song is stuck in my head right now. TikTok songs, they, they are like a different breed of music because <laughs> I can get something stuck in my head for days and days and days and days and it's words that don't even like coherently make sense together <laughs> but for some reason those songs are just so catchy and I 
it's a little frustrating if I'm being honest. It's also possible that I get those songs stuck in my head because I spend way too much time scrolling through TikTok. Next we're gonna go into some powder. This one is from Laura Mercier. This is another classic product that everybody talks about. This is their translucent loose setting powder. They have a few different versions. This is just the the OG, the original, and I kind of took a step away from using loose powder as often and I was just sticking to my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder which is a pressed powder but then I used this Laura Mercier powder like a couple weeks ago and I was like oh my god I forgot how good this powder was and I regretted neglecting it. Now this is a trust the process moment because I... <laughs> I can never take myself seriously when I look like this, but once I have powder like packed on into my t-zone where I get the most oily I go in with a powder brush and a little bit more powder I'm gonna tap some into the lid and I like to go in with I say a little bit more powder, but it's kind of a lot and I just tap this over the rest of my skin so basically like my cheeks and forehead where I didn't pack on the powder just to make sure my entire face is set because um, that's just part of what I need and then as I'm applying the powder I'm also dusting off my extra bake as they call it um, all the excess powder that I applied with my sponge oh Please tell me you guys saw that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do like a slow-mo replay. Um, I forgot that my bronzer was broken. Um, it was like detached from the back and it fell and then in my attempt at catching it, I just completely smooshed it. Um, so that's great. Anyway, this is the Skin Lights Bronzer from Revlon. This is a fantastic bronzer. Um, I have several of them. <laughs> I love it so much. It has a little bit of a sheen, although it's not glittery. And this is the perfect color. Oh my god, I almost spilled it again. This is the Prismatic Bronzer in the shade Sunlit Glow. They have a few different shades, but this one is my absolute favorite. I'm not positive. Positive, but I'm pretty sure this is the lightest shade that they have um, But you can just see like how softly that blends onto my skin It's so natural looking and it's very thin It doesn't like cake on and make your makeup look thicker than it already is and the little bit of sheen that it has just really kind of adds a glow to your face while also like bronzing and adding shape to your face and I'm honestly obsessed with it. I can kind of do it without even like looking and paying too much attention. It's a pretty beginner friendly bronzer and like I said it is a little bit, it has a little bit of a sheen but no like chunky glitter. I am not a fan of glittery bronzer. I don't even think I own a glittery bronzer. <laughs> this is as close as it gets to that but this is just so beautiful natural and I cannot recommend it enough. And then for blush, we are gonna go in with this one from Buxom. This is the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Mykonos. I love this blush color. It is so beautiful. It's the perfect like peachy blush. And if you didn't know, I'm a big fan of peachy blush. I love this blush formula and if I had to say, this is my favorite color from the formula. I have several, I probably have like six or seven of this like primer infused blush formula, but this color is just so perfect. I feel like you could use it any time of year. It could be spring, summer, fall, winter, literally it's so freaking perfect and it's nice and pigmented and again, super easy to use. Like you don't have to be you know, overly careful when applying it you can build it up get more pigment or just you know go in with less product and have it sheared out but I'm a fan of blush so I like to pack on the blush uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we are going to start working on the eyes all right so as you can tell <laughs> pretty crazy eyebrows they are full they are thick they are long they are dark <laughs> and they can get a little crazy at times so um, eyebrows are definitely an important part of makeup in my opinion I feel like I definitely can't have my makeup 
completed without having my eyebrows done um, so I like to comb through them kind of like get the general shape going but since my eyebrow hairs are so long and they even have a little bit of texture to them they will go in all kinds of crazy directions um, so once I spoolie through them I like to go in with a pencil to just kind of even out the tail area here because this is where I have some asymmetry I mean my eyebrows aren't perfect anywhere but this is where the most asymmetry is so I'm going in with the Milani Precision brow pencil in the shade medium brown this is just a precise brow pencil and I like to take it and just kind of go over the tail, like the arch, arch to the tail, this little area. Um, I like to outline it and then I will just kind of fill it in. And then I will do the same on the other side and this just helps keep things, you know, looking a little better. So once my brows are filled in, I like to take a spoolie and just kind of comb through them to make sure that everything is looking good. And the important part here is making sure that our brow hairs stay in place all day long, which has actually proven to be quite the challenge to me over the years. Um, I have tried all kinds of brow products, brow gels, brow pomades, brow soaks, and it's very rare to come across a brow product that you know, meets all the criteria that I'm looking for, which actually brings me to the portion of today's video that is sponsored by Ofra. I cannot wait to show you guys this product. This is their Don't Play Brow Gel, and I I love a good brow gel. That is my preferred brow product but this brow gel is really cool because it comes in this little pot it is clear which literally clear brow gel is my that is my soulmate <laughs> i'm always talking about clear brow gel so this is great because it'll work for anybody's eyebrows any color any texture it's completely universal and i like to take their pro 18 brush which has a spoolie on one side and an angled brush on the other and i like to do this after i fill in my brows just because i find it easier but i've seen people do it the other way as well this product is vegan and cruelty free which we love and of course you guys can use code page for 10 percent off so what I like to do is I take the spoolie and I go directly into the product and I scoop some out. Then I will take it on the back of my hand and just kind of spin the spoolie around to disperse the product evenly and get rid of any excess product for the brows. Then I take that spoolie and I just start combing through. And as you can see, this brow gel isn't budging literally i could make my brows go like full fluff which isn't really like my vibe but you can go full fluff or if you prefer a more you know subtle brow <laughs> like myself um i like to comb upwards in the front and then i start to kind of push back as i'm following the natural like hair growth direction and literally it sets my brows in place all day long it looks so good and so natural my camera battery died but i'm back so here is what the brow looks like when it's done it looks nice clean sharp good to go now we're gonna go ahead and do the same on this side so i just dipped back into the don't play brow gel and again i'm just going to spin the spoolie on the back of my hand like this until i have a good amount of product on my spoolie and then we will start to kind of comb upward just like that and then again i kind of start tilting my brush strokes to the back and then down as i follow the natural hair growth of my eyebrows so i can tell that i need to touch up with some brow pencil right here but overall my brows are looking snatched <laughs> and i like to take this spoolie with a little bit of product and just kind of flick like upward and inward to add a little bit of that fluffy brow vibe just to that inner corner because i do like the fluffy brow look but it's just you know a, a little bit of a subtle version <laughs> compared to what i see um so yeah you can totally customize it to yourself i'm gonna go ahead and touch up this outside part of my brow and then the brows 
will be done. So here are the finished brows. I love how they turned out. Like I said, this brow gel can be super heavy duty if you need it to be, like I do, or you can just go in with a little bit and create a super soft, natural, fluffy brow. It's all up to you. It's totally customizable and I'm obsessed. <laughs> so thank you again to Ofra for sponsoring that portion of the video. And now we will move on to eyeshadow. And I am so excited to try out this eyeshadow palette. This is something that I more recently added to my everyday makeup drawer and I haven't ever used. I haven't gotten the chance to use it yet. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the chocolate brown mini obsessions. <laughs> Um, chocolate brown obsessions, I guess is what they call it. And it's funny because this is still new to me, but they actually just released even newer obsessions eyeshadow palettes. Uh, but we're going to be going in with this one. I thought the colors were so beautiful and I cannot wait to play around with some of those shimmers. So first we're going to start off and go into this matte brown color up here. This is like I would say a medium kind of brown. It looks kind of cool toned though, so it kind of gives me a little bit of a pinky vibe. So I'm going to start by putting this in my crease. That was way more pigmented than I anticipated it to be, but it's so pretty and I love Huda Beauty eyeshadows. I find them to be really easy to blend and just like so smooth and pretty. So um, yeah, that already looks freaking beautiful. Obviously I need to blend out the edge, but this is such a pretty color. I thought I would zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you could see what I was doing better. So now that we have that first shade laid down, it looks a little crazy, another trust the process moment. Um, now I think I'm gonna take, oh, this is like difficult. I think I'm going to take this color, which is a little bit deeper of a brown, and it's definitely more warm toned, and I'm going to take a little bit of that and just press it in this outer corner of my lid. I'm going to keep it kind of, you know, close together. I'm going to try to not blow it out so much, and then I will blend that shade together with the first shade that we applied. Now it's time to blend. I'm just taking a clean, dense brush. I've been liking doing this to blend out edges between two shadows recently. I feel like it just does a really good job. And I am going to actually go back into that first shade that we used just to get a little bit more of that like kind of pinky purpley color back. I swatched the shimmers on the back of my hand and I think I'm going to go in with the lightest one here, which is in this row in the center. And I'm just going to take my finger and press this all over my lid. I'm also going to kind of bring it up into this little inner part of my crease. I just think that really lightens it up and adds some some texture in the crease, which isn't typically what people go for, but I think it's fun. Um, this shimmer looks like it has a little bit of like a pinkiness to it almost. So I'm just going to tap this all over the lid and just kind of blend it with my finger. And then once I do that, I'm going to clean up this outer edge that's looking crazy. <laughs> and then I will be back to finish off the eye. So to clean up this outer edge, what I'm doing is going into this palette from ColourPop. This is the new Nude Mood palette. And I'm going into this shade here, which is called Bluffin. And this is a really nice light matte color. And I'm just taking this on a flat brush and just kind of touching it along the edges of this eyeshadow just to kind of clean them up a little bit. And then once I have the edges <laughs> settled down, I will go back into whatever color I had in the crease and very lightly, like basically no product on the brush, just like whatever's left, very lightly go over and just blend to kind of create that gradient that makes eyeshadow just kind of like fade out and look a little bit better. <laughs> now I'm going to take that first shade that I went in with and I'm going to rub that along my lower lash line, focusing it on the outer portion. This is that first crease matte color. 
and again doing the same thing on the other side i'm getting total fall vibes from this eye look i am loving it now we are going to put on some mascara for mascara i'm using this one from charlotte tilbury this is the pillow talk push-up lashes mascara this has been in my everyday makeup drawer for a very long time and i love it so much it seems like i will be needing a new one soon because it is drying out a little bit but this just coats my lashes so quickly and so easily it keeps them separated it adds depth it adds volume it adds length like that literally took me what 15 seconds and look at how good my lashes look already i am obsessed this is such a good mascara charlotte tilbury really hits it home is that that's not the right expression i'm looking for they really hit the nail on the head with their mascaras they're so good you know i just heard the floor creaking above me <laughs> and i was thinking like you know there's someone up there so there's literally someone that's like probably 10 feet away from me right now and like i've never even met them before isn't that isn't that a weird thought like that's such a weird idea now we are going to go in with highlighter and for highlighter i decided to go in with this one from ofra i always have an ofra highlighter in my makeup drawer by the way this portion of the video is not sponsored <laughs> this is completely like you know i just i love this and this is such a pretty highlighter this is the samantha march collaboration and this is in the shade start inspired and it's so beautiful it has this really pretty kind of like neutrally champagne-ish highlighter <laughs> and then it also has a really pretty pinky highlighter in it as well i'm gonna pop this on my inner corner if i can find my brush and you can either swirl the colors together you can go in with just the pink one just the gold one i typically like to just swirl them together and then tap that right on my inner corner and it is so brightening and so fun i like to apply this to my inner corner and my brow bone and then i also will take my like face highlighter brush and apply it to my face i like to match my <laughs> my eye highlighter to my face highlighter it's kind of like matching your bra to your underwear i don't know um i think it's fun <laughs> so i'm gonna take this highlighter brush here from bling brushes and just kind of pop that right on my cheekbone very lightly these highlighters are super intense um but i love them that's that's one of the many reasons why i love their highlighters they're so smooth and glowy and beautiful like look at that i like to go in little circles i find that that like helps blend it out to look the most natural <laughs> and then i will take a little bit on my nose here and my lip or my cupid's bow i guess and then i even like to take a little bit of highlighter and apply it right above the brow um i just think that this kind of adds a little bit of sheen to my skin and um since i go in with so much powder sometimes it kind of takes that away uh so yeah there's that to finish the look off um what about some setting spray let's go in with this one from i Heart revolution this is the peaches and cream setting spray i quite obviously love this and i've been trying to actually use it up since i've had it for so long so we will spray some of that and then as we let that kind of dry off i'm gonna go in with some lipstick this one is from charlotte tilbury this is the dance floor princess lipstick i don't know if it still comes in this packaging this might have been limited edition packaging but this color is so beautiful it's like such a pretty pinky nude it will go with absolutely anything and i am obsessed with charlotte tilbury lipsticks i think i'm actually gonna go in with this lipstick on top just like a little bit in the center this is from mac this is the creme de nude lipstick and this will just kind of add a little bit of dimension and i don't know i just like the look of kind of like mashing together two lipsticks i think it's just more 
customizable and fun. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out and just kind of chat with you guys for a second. And that will be today's video. All right, you guys. So here's the finished look. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I think it's so cute and perfect for fall. I love the eyeshadow. I was a little bit worried for a second. I was like, oh no, did I like, you know, get too far in over my head? Is this going to look bad? But the shimmer really pulled the eye look together and it looks so freaking good. I love this palette. I cannot wait to use it again. And overall, just I think the makeup looks so fun. So like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box. If you guys want to see more of these everyday makeup drawer videos, please let me know. I actually have to update my everyday makeup drawer very soon, kind of switch up the rotation of products just so that I can keep trying new things and you know, it helps keep me from getting in the rut of using the same products over and over again when I, when I have an entire makeup collection <laughs> that needs to be used. So um, I thought this was so much fun to film and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Again, a huge thank you to Ofra for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'm so excited that I had the opportunity to work with them because if you guys watch my channel, you know my genuine love for Ofra. <laughs> I love their products so much and you guys can use code PAGE for 20% off of Ofra products. I will have my code and all the links listed down below, like I said. So that's pretty much it from me. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.